or the Chinese man. Mm -hmm. Don't care how long an Indian or Syrian or Libyan family by there, you still call them Indian or Syrian or Libyan. Me? My family's been in Barbados for a long time. That don't make me only a baby. That's what my past for. But I'm an African. I went to Ghana last year. I saw some of you there. I saw some of you in Ghana. I saw the Ghanaians in your faces. I saw pages and the way they walk, the way they carry themselves, the market, same thing. I am. We are African. Some people just don't know it. Because they don't understand what it means to be an African. They think that to be an African is something negative, something derogatory, something bad, something dirty. But me, I am an African. I am the seed of the soil of the land where mankind began, an African. The first fruit of the first harvest of humanity. My holy land is the ancestral home of the human genome, testified to by the manuscripts of mitochondrial DNA and chronicled by the white chromosome. I am the anthropomorphic rep representation of the sacred supreme syllable O. I roam from the region of the source of the Nile for miles and miles in all directions. Therefore, all civilizations have their origination in the womb of my inspired imagination, conceived by the planting of the seed of my divine erections. I erected the pyramids of Kamek and Kush in present day Egypt and Sudan. Therefore, I am an African. I am the personification of the principles prescribed by the scribes of the Pur Tem Heru. I come forth by day and by night. I am the darkness and the light. I am the son of the sun and the daughter of the dark, dark waters of Nu. I fly on the beak of the Benu and come again like Kepara because I am an African. I am the stone that was refused by the bureaucrats, spat at by the technocrats, sacrificed at the altar of their cigarette plantations and skyscrapers. But my spirit hung around like vapors, waiting to be inhaled by those who have the nose to know and are ready to be resuscitated, resurrected, born again, led out of captivity into an African nativity, into African liberty. I am an African. Black used to be seen as my curse, but now it is known to be my badge of merit, linking me to the legacy that I will inherit once I have the good sense to claim it and proclaim it. Say it loud. I am an African and proud, proud of what I have done and what I have overcome, the spell of Urugu and what I am still yet to do in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach and his African messianic voodoo, and in the name of the super Sufi exhortations of Sheikh Amadou Bamba, I am the birth Spear of Shaka in the hand of a diaspora of defiant Amazulu, Khoisan, and Kosa in unity, Uhuru, Uhuru. I am an African. I am the exemplary example of the enzymatic entity making possible the manifestation of divine creativity. I am Ra over the horizon, the flat line the world mistook for an indication of my death. But in the words of the poet Bernard Warren, I was not dead. I was just, I was just resting. Boy. My identity and blessing is restored and reconnected through new African traditional religion. Old time futurism. Netir knows no boundaries. I have worked in their factories. I have mastered the processes of their foundries and found them to be lacking a foundation in peace and love. My will is to rise above the base level of the base metal leg. The hawk rules my heart and guards my head. By locks balance I bake my daily bread. Heru neck, Heru neck, Hebet nephew cast the mold, and Heru who is ever turning fans the flame and keeps it burning. Out of the furnace of the Ma'afa, out of the furnace of the Ma'afa, the African is returning. Cast it in carbon, skin of graphite, core of diamond, sheeming, gleaming like a shanty gold. I am the whirlwind of which the prophet Marcus Mosiah foretold. Control your anger and your rage. There is none that can not unfold the turning of history's page. Extol the words of the sage. Behold the coming of the African age. See you.